Hello my friends, how are y'all doing out there today? Just uh, sitting out on the back deck here, getting ready for the weekend and hoping that the next three days will be the last uh, warm weather that we see for a while. Uh, we got a cold front coming through, I believe Monday, and hopefully we're gonna be seeing regular fall temperatures from then on. Uh, we had a little taste and then it got, uh, then it got warm again, but uh, just thought I'd finish off the day talking a little bit about plant-based diversity and uh, kind of the, my, the main reasons that I'm always talking about plant-based diversity. And I've been listening to uh, different podcasts. You got, if you've watched me before, if you've watched me on a, uh, a number of times, you've probably heard me mention some of the podcasts that I listen to. I like, uh, I basically, I like, I love the exam room podcast. That's one of the main ones I listen to for plant plant based information and uh, just kind of learning a little bit more for me. And as I've also shared with you before, my hard drive doesn't work so well up there after uh, decades and decades of just killing brain cells and uh, drinking way too much. So I kind of like I like to listen to things over and over just to kind of make sure I heard what I heard and also just to remember what I heard and just it sinks in a little bit more. And as I, I, the exam room podcast, as I, as always, I recommend to everybody. They just have a multitude of great guests on there. But uh, recently, I've started listening to The Proof with Simon Hill, and I really enjoyed that one too. I like a lot of things that um, go into me liking a podcast or paying attention to a podcast. It's just kind of the demeanor of the host or just the tone of how it's done. And I've noticed that uh, Simon is just very well spoken. He doesn't, he's not emotional. I'm not into drama. I'm not into preaching. I'm not into people that are yelling all the time and telling you, you need to do this and you need to do that. He just seems to present the facts and uh, you take what you can use. Um, I was listening to a particularly good one while I was in the gym this morning on the, of his, on the, of, of him on the Rich Roll podcast. And I will try to remember to put a link down below. Now I'll listen to those on my podcast and I'll be doing the video or I'll be editing and uploading the video on my laptop. So I don't, I think I can uh, drop a link to a podcast, but just for good material, just go look up. Um, you can go either search on YouTube or you can search where you get your podcast, uh, Rich Roll and Simon Hill. And probably several podcasts will pop up because he's been a guest on the show more than once. But uh he was taught I was listening to a good one this morning also too uh, when I find somebody new that I like to listen to like that I enjoy listening to him on other people's podcasts because it's uh it's a broader spectrum they're longer now this is a long rich roll podcast it's about three hours but uh you know you break it up uh sometimes I'll uh, recommend something that's longer content like that and people are like I don't have time to watch it I'm like well, I don't sit down and listen to a three-hour podcast. It may take I might listen to that over the course of a week, but anyhow, basically it just reinforces what I'm always trying to uh, share here: that it's about diversity. It's not about superfood. It's not about eating this one one certain particular foods. It's not about chasing various nutrients. It's about if we're eating for if we're eating the amount of food that we should be eating um, our caloric needs and we're eating a wild variety a wide variety wild variety as well um, we tend to have a better chance of getting all the nutrients that we need on there um, and so there's two that there's that plus the gut diversity you know I'm always talking about gut health um, and talk, uh, recommending Dr. Will Bulsowitz as well but, um, you know, and that's something that I, I think I lacked on in my earlier days on a plant-based diet. Um, I think it was probably a year or two or so after I came back to the States from Costa Rica that I really started focusing on getting more diversity in my diet. And a lot of that had to do with, uh, it coincided with me listening to Dr. Bulsovitz. I think really I started focusing, um, I heard him mention the other day that his uh, book Fiber Fueled had come out in, I think he said September or something, somewhere in 2020. 
So it was right around that time. So I guess it's only been about three years that I really got really focused on getting more diversity um, in my diet. And when you listen to people like this, um, that's why I can't, I never listen for me to, I would have to study and prepare for a week to go into the depth of the presentations and the science that they're talking about. And once again, just like them, I'm not trying to beat you over the head with this and I'm not saying this is the way, this is this. Listen, and this has, this, you can use this advice on other matters other than food as well, is just, listen to information and make up your own mind. Um, you know, listen to what people say, but listen to how they present their information. Listen to opposing views on that information. Uh, I've been using chat GPT. Sometimes I'll see comments somewhere out online, you know, about a plant-based diet and how ridiculous it is and whatever. And they'll, they'll uh, say, you should be doing this instead. I'll go ask uh, chat GPT. That just happens to be the AI that I use. And I get some one, and it's quick. It's very fast, and it gives me a lot of good information. Um, so once again, like I'm never like going to be a preacher on any of this stuff. I just share. You make up your own minds on it. But uh, the more that we're getting in, and the more different varieties of plants, and the magic number with Dr. Bulsevich just happens to be 30. But don't stop there. Um, you know, get as much variety as you can as possible. And all of a sudden, all, also, uh, as he always mentions, if you are not getting that much and you just want to increase, don't get, don't get crazy with it. Don't be sitting down every day going, oh my God, did I get enough today? Just try each meal, think, you know, like think, okay, what haven't I had this week? What haven't I had? How can I add something more to this? I just had a big salad for lunch here about, sorry plane flying overhead. I just had a big salad for lunch here about an hour ago and I probably had at least with the dressing and everything I had at least 10 different um, plants in there. Now you add breakfast to that, you add dinner to that. You know sometimes in a day you, it's not that uncommon to get 15, 18 different uh, plants in your diet. So uh, you know just colors, variety, um, different textures. And as, besides just the nutritional stuff, it just uh, makes it more interesting when you're not eating the same things over and over and over again, which I did tend to do a little bit more when I was in Costa Rica. Like I had my certain things that I just eat over and over and over. Um, breakfast is one that I've um, definitely branched out over, over the last few years uh, instead of just eating ice cream every morning or instead of just eating one fruit every morning. I try to make these acai bowls. I try to make uh, just mixed fruit bowls and just, you know, mix it up as much as possible. Um, this particular, if you can find and listen to this podcast, it goes into the eight, like eight nutrients that people really need to be uh, paying attention to. So it really gets into some really in-depth stuff. So I would say it's definitely worth your time to sit down and consume this. I tried to find that particular one on uh, YouTube because normally Rich, if Rich does uh, a podcast, you know, the, the audio version, he'll usually put a video one on um, YouTube. But I didn't see this particular one by the same name, so I'm going to drop that one in the, in the description below and uh, just try to listen to it. Like I say, you can break it down into bites, listen to it when you go to the gym, listen to it when you're out on a walk, but uh, just kind of make it a game or seeing how much different diversity you can get into your diet. And that's something you can even do with your kids. That's how you can make a um, plant-based diet a little bit more fun and where your kids are going to be a little bit more interested in it. But it's always going to be about that diversity. If you're eating a very narrow range of foods, um, it's just it just leaves you open to not getting all the nutrition that you need. Um, and that's, you know, sometimes I think people are making a very big mistake in the plant-based, in the vegan world, when they just do it willy-nilly and they just don't don't get a lot of that diversity and they're very narrow in what they're eating but anyhow just a couple of thoughts for you today like I say I'm just mainly a point a, a sign pointing you at people that are a lot smarter than me that can share information in a much more coherent 
and scientific way. So anyhow, y'all have a beautiful weekend. Um, hope you're getting some good weather wherever you are. Um, and I'll see you here again real soon. Peace.